is Tanner Foss. I'm the quoting coordinator here at Oello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get some decent estimations on roof lines when quoting a home. Now, one of the biggest tools that we can use, or the best tools just for estimating, is um, Google Maps. I'll type in their address, I'll go and I'll find their house. And uh, if you right click, you have a measurement tool. I'll clear this one out. And we can measure distances from certain areas to wherever it is you want to get and get a, a decent estimation. So we'll go measure this first peak here. That's about 20 feet across. So I know it's 20 feet from here to there. And if I, uh, I can click in the middle and bring it certain distances wherever I want. And I can kind of recreate the peak that it has there to get a decent estimation. Let's see. That might be a little too much. 22. So we'll keep that 22. We'll call that 24. And then we can go and kind of do that for the rest of these distances here. So I can go here, measure distance of this flat line over the garage. I know the garage goes a little bit further than that. So it's another 24. Now this one's kind of tough because it comes down right in the middle of the other roof. And you can't see it from some of these pictures. So you just kind of have to eyeball it and get a decent guess. We'll measure distance from there to about there. That's 21 feet. And I can kind of recreate that peak again. Now I know this peak's going to be longer than this peak, so if I get the same number like I did about 24, I know that Google's probably off by a little bit. And if you just kind of visualize taking this peak, straightening it out, so you make a straight line visually, and kind of line it up with this peak, you can tell that it's going to be pretty close, but this one's going to be a little bit longer. So we'll go 24, we'll call that 30, just to give ourselves some wiggle room. And then we'll use this last one right here, this small guy. And we'll go here. To there, so I know he's about 13 feet across there. If I bring it up, it's probably going to be about 16 feet, just to keep it in uh, multiples of 8. So it gives me about 94 feet on this guy. Now to me that seems a little small. Another thing I like to do is go look at, Owello has a nice uh, little part on their website where they give estimates. And you can kind of compare it to these. These are pretty accurate to where if you're getting, you know, 200 feet on this house and you go look at here, like what's 200? Well I know that's a lot smaller. But if I go and look at this guy, or maybe even this guy, compare it to him. I can say, okay, he's probably somewhere in between 50 to 100 feet. So we'll take our 94, and just to give ourselves some more wiggle room, we'll round that up to about 100. And then uh, divide that by 8 just to keep it all in good multiples. It makes it easy to work with. So 104 is what I'm going to round up to. You can go a little higher if you want to. And then on each measurement, what I like to do too is I'll add an extra 8 to 16 feet depending on how confident I am in the measurement just to give ourselves a little wiggle room in case, uh, in case we're short. Always, uh, always err on the side of more rather than less. But yeah, I hope this helps.